Luke 9, as they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever I go. And Jesus said to him, the foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And he said to another, follow me. But he said, Lord, permit me to go and bury my father. But he said to them, allow the dead to bury their own. But as far as you go and proclaim everywhere the kingdom of God. Another also said, I will follow you, Lord. But first permit me to go and say goodbye to those at home. But Jesus said to him, no one after putting his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. It, it seems that Jesus here is encouraging folks from becoming disciples. However, this is really not the case at all. Jesus is showing the level of commitment that he desires for his disciples. There is nothing more important than the relationship between Jesus and his disciples. Therefore, there is nothing that is worthy of coming between them. Jesus encourages people to count the cost before coming, however. Once the commitment is made, stick to it, no matter what. We should never wonder what might have been. Whatever we give up for the sake of Jesus holds no value compared to the rewards he promises in this life and the life to come. Then let us pray. Heavenly Father, we're thankful that for all that you have given us. We're thankful for this passage in Luke that reminds us once again how important the kingdom of God is and what Jesus has done on the cross. So much more important than anything else that we could think of or allow to bother us uh, in some way. We're thankful once again for what Jesus has done on the cross and for the message of this particular passage. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.